So after a crazy 24 hours, waking up to donkeys, throwing yourself off a cliff, witnessing a robbery, and getting taken to the police station, we're finally hitting the road again. We're Marianne and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since 2018. We're currently spending a few weeks in the country of Georgia. A country with fantastic mountain views, crazy roads, and even crazier driving. You can't see, what is that? And let's not forget unusual architecture, delicious food, and cows on the road. <coughs> Right, coffee is made. Let the beautiful filming day begin. Just one point for the, when I, when I signed the uh, statement, because I can hear all of you going, you signed a statement in Georgian? Um, actually, I wrote in there that this statement is correct as the translator said it to me. So uh, that's kind of my cover if they say, well, actually it says this, and I'll say the translator didn't say that. Um, so yeah, I have put a little bit of a backup there on that he statement. He also said if the statement isn't signed, then they have to drop the case and those kids would have lost everything. Exactly, so, so we can't do that. Yeah, but we got our get out of jail card. So because we've been up for hours, we just spotted this little supermarket and thought maybe we can get a croissant or some bakery product for breakfast. <laughs> keep that energy up when we're half asleep. <clears throat> I think I got there before the bakery started so I've got two of yesterday's type <laughs> of things. Oh it will be fine. But we've got some like cheap Pringles and some um, juice. pomegranate juice. There you go, we're, <laughs> we're healthy. Okay let's get down this mountain. The sun is just coming up, it's, the light's beautiful, it's going to be a nice drive down this morning. Yeah, and we're back to the lorry queue and they're all still queuing. I'm still not sure why they're queuing, but they're all still queuing. The cows on the road just to add a, an extra bit of manoeuvring on the road this morning. We made it down the mountain and we've arrived at the Ananuri fortress it's located 66 kilometers north of tbilisi and is on the georgian military highway which is the road that we've just driven down through the mountains let's go and have a look inside it doesn't matter where you park up in georgia there is always a lot of dogs and uh, we've given them a good feed this one's a right beast look at you you're gorgeous you look like a lion So well, this looks like the entrance. Wow. So in the grounds of the fortress, there's two 17th century churches with a defensive tower there. They've got all the, uh, all the old writing on the wall here, look. It's a wonderful fortress. So this little walkway up here, there's a few steps, there's no barrier. I'm a bit... <laughs> Ooh. No help for safety in medieval times. Look at this. So you can see where there would have been a chimney where they would have baked bread. I think there probably would have been different floors in here actually. Oh yeah, you, you can, can see, see them. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's one of the best views up here. You get a beautiful view of the uh, the churches there with the lake behind. You can go up. Oh, you right, love? Yeah. We've come to the top, dare I walk on that? No. If hey. you have to think about it, say no. So we're going to carry on along the wall. We are in a police station this morning, we might be in a hospital this afternoon. Yeah, we don't really want to have to use two emergency services in one day lovely stonework yeah that would have taken a while to make wouldn't it look at the detail in that there's another little old church there what a wonderful view the uh, churches seem closed this morning i'm not sure whether it's because we're here bright and early or whether they're just generally closed and you can't go in them 
but definitely worth a visit down here um, stopping off if you're driving here up the mountain it's a it's a nice little spot okay so we've jumped back into Trudy we're heading 45 minutes south to the city of Muscheta I'll tell you what some of those uh, trucks going up to Russia they haven't met any carbon emissions tests that's for sure you can hardly breathe puffing out black smoke <laughs> Okay, we've arrived now in Muscheta and I'm sorry about the pronunciation. A Georgian told me how to say it and I know it's completely wrong because I don't have the accent, but it's something like that. Muscheta! <laughs> and actually this city is uh, the original, the first capital city here in Georgia. You may recognize it, we were parked up here before we went to the mountains, but today we're going to have a little walk around Old Town. There's a very famous cathedral here. So let's go and have a look around. And it must be nearly lunchtime. It is. I'm starving because we were up at the crack of dawn, as you know. This uh, particular city is very popular with uh, tourists coming on day trips from Tbilisi. So where we've parked is actually next to uh, Old Town and the Cathedral. And uh, just coming down, Already there's little cobbled streets and uh, restaurants around. You can see the cathedral in the, in the background there just beyond. Lots of wine for sale. Obviously Georgia is a famous place for wine. The birthplace of wine in fact. Gamma Joba. Hey, look they've got all these funky hats for sale here. Gamma Joba. Hi. All tourist memorabilia here look. They got the uh, the sweets, the ones we bought in the market when we were we were going around there for sale. And here's the cathedral here. Look, you can see all the guys come from the uh, from the coaches here. It's uh, it's busy with tourists. You know, there's quite a few tourists about at the moment. The spot we found to park is actually perfect because it is literally smack in Old Town. Um, so that was a good little find. We found that actually by accident, actually. Uh, when we were just looking for somewhere to come to come through to go up to the mountains got lots of rugs not as nice here. As rug. no not as nice as our turkish rug Thanks, but uh, yeah a lovely place to come and have a little wander around So we come back, we actually had uh, dinner here the other night and uh, it was really nice so we thought we'd come back. It's literally right opposite the cathedral. We, uh, we stopped off in the spa shop and uh, bought a bag of dog food so Marianne's feeding up all the local dogs there. It's something we like to do, you know, as we're traveling around is, uh, is feed the animals on the streets because so many of them are desperate for food. So we figured that because we were up so early that we would actually have a proper blunch today, kind of breakfast, lunch combined. What time is it? Uh, we don't ever need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about the time. I think it's about 11 o'clock maybe. Yeah. Um, let's so say half, quarter to 12. Let's say it's quarter to 12. It sounds better. Um, so we've ordered a nice big traditional Georgian lunch uh, before we go and have a look around the cathedral and then we're going to be heading to the east of Georgia. You know sometimes I may over order well i think i may have done it again <laughs> <laughs> we did check they do do a packet service so if there are leftovers we can take them we won't waste it but oh my lord look at this we've got this chicken dish here with garlic and milk and chicken it's really, really delicious we've had that before yeah and here we've got a little sizzler pot of chicken and roasted vegetables a little bit like the guvesh we were having in Turkey. Uh, I had that the other night, it was heavenly. Potato wedges, Mexican style with some uh, sour cream dip. A huge Greek salad, look at that. And some bread. And in case you're wondering, 
This is not Guinness, this is a nice Irish coffee. Oh, nice. Irish coffee! Iced coffee. <laughs> no, it's not an Irish coffee, it is an iced coffee. Let's eat. So after a delicious lunch, we're now going to pop into the cathedral that you can just see over the wall behind me. Welcome to the Svetis Kovoli Cathedral. In fact, it's known as Georgia's biggest and most popular cathedral. And uh, we asked the waiter in the restaurant that we've just, just been to to help us pronounce the name because these Georgian names are pretty hard for us Brits, you know. I have never seen a view through a cathedral gate that looks as impressive as this. Wow, this is quite some cathedral. Look at the size of that. And look at the mountain range and the walls. Just to uh, help you understand the spelling of where we are, that's why I had trouble saying it out loud. That is the name of the cathedral that we're at today. Well, this cathedral is absolutely amazing. The ceiling in here is so high. That is a seriously impressive cathedral. Probably one of the best that I've seen. So this cathedral actually has two legends. The first one is that apparently back in the day, the king amputated the architect's hand, the architect who built this cathedral, so that he could not recreate anything more beautiful than this. There's actually a hand uh, holding a tool on the northern outside wall of this cathedral. If you come here, see if you can spot it. The other legend is that there is a seamless robe that belonged to Jesus himself that is buried within this cathedral. way around the cathedral they've got this this wonderful wall here with nice gardens look at this it's a really really impressive spot there's a whole team of people here doing restoration work uh -huh. making it look lovely and old crafts and skills being brought back to restore this incredible building <laughs> I couldn't resist it oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How can you not have a Turkish ice cream after spending 15 months in Turkey? Marianne's missing a bit of Turkish. I am. <laughs> so we've jumped back into a very hot Trudy Woo! and now we're driving to the east of Georgia to the city of love. Oh! <laughs> that we formally just entered Tbilisi. It's funny because last time we came to Tbilisi we actually flew from Antalya so it feels funny to have driven all this way now. The signpost says Tehran. And Bakal. That's always slightly disturbing. But we're heading east and that is the direction. Can you overtake this stuff coming? Well, the driving here is absolutely nuts. <laughs> it's just completely bonkers. Go on, there's a corner, you can do it. <laughs> actually 
overtook us whilst we're overtaking. Have you ever seen anything so nuts in your life? Oh God, what are you doing? I just, I just can't get my head around the fact that they make an extra lane and they just go head on to oncoming traffic on corners. I just don't get it. Look, there's another one coming down now. You can't see. What is that? The uh, landscape's very dry on this side of Georgia. It's uh, a real contrast from uh, the west and up in the mountains. It's uh, suddenly gone really brown and really dry and very warm. This stretch of road's a bit of a free-for-all. It's a bit like drag racing. It's like when you come out the toll booth on one of those toll roads and it's every man for himself. <laughs> I would love to try drag racing. We just smelt a smoking smell, so we're just making sure it's not us. Us. No, nope. it's all it's looking good. Us. It's not us. I can smell it though. It actually smells like somebody's burning tyres. We're just coming into the wine region, or one of the wine regions here in Georgia, because you can see vineyards. Woo! And uh, that's one of the things that this region is famous for. We've only got a couple of miles to go. There's nice views. It's been a little bit tiring. I'm not even driving and I, I was rolling my eyes after three hours sleep last night. Good job, love. You've done good to stay awake. Look at that view. That's the town there. This must be the center of town. It looks lovely. It's a little ATV, so if you want to rent one. We've arrived at our little, um, a little apartment we've rented for a couple of days. Parking, there is off-road parking. It's a little bit, it's a little bit steep, but we got the chocks in under there just in case. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that view. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so let me give you the quick guided tour of where we're staying. There's a nice shower and loo in there, which is heavenly. Living in a van, a shower and a sit down toilet is a dream. Can then, I just say, those are the same chairs they that are. we had when we first got married. They are very, very similar. They were all cool and practical <laughs> when we first got married. There you go, so we've got this, I'll be able to edit here. We've got this, a telly. Uh, there's Wi-Fi, a nice fan to keep us cool, and uh, there is bedroom too. If we fall out. If uh, Marianne's naughty, I'll put her in here. <laughs> so we're going to finish the video there. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. We are absolutely exhausted, and I think it's probably going to go to bed after having three or four hours sleep last night, and driving and filming all day. So we'll see you on the next episode, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon.